You know that feeling you get when something doesn't go exactly how you want and you're just like, man, that sucks. And then you move on with your life or, or maybe it just bothers you in the back of your mind. It's important when these situations come up that you see them as opportunities, opportunities to reflect on what that emotion is. Sometimes what I have found that happens is that we'll look at those emotions, an event will happen, right? Some, somebody will make a comment or something will happen and we'll, we'll feel something. And we we might reminisce on it, like in the back of our mind, but we won't really reflect on it. And what you want to do is you want to sit, you want to really look at that emotion and see what it means and see what growth you can get out of it. What was the situation? What was your reaction? What was the, the belief or the, the set of actions that led to that situation and what you can do? That That act of actually sitting down and spending just a little bit more time to reflect on what got you there in the first place, it's essential. I mean, if for anybody that plays chess, if you're just moving the chess boards and you don't really ever reflect on why somebody took a piece or why you lost, then you're never going to learn how to not get in that situation again. You're just going to get in that situation again and again and again. Because here's the thing. Life will continue to give you the same thing over and over and over until you learn the lesson that needs to be learned from that experience. So, Take a little bit of time, write it down in a journal, write it down in a piece of paper. You can't hold everything in your mind. So writing things down is going to allow you to have the mental memory, the mental space necessary to look deeper into the experience and why you had the experience that you had. 